Hi, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install your new uh, RealWatch version 4. So first thing we need to do is to select which one, which uh, watch we need to use. So for this example I'm going to use the blue one and we drag it onto the avatar. Now um, it, it needs to be in this position in the hierarchy because if it isn't um, you need to change the animations and if you know how to do that, how to do that you can do it but for basic example i'm just going to use the standard position and to make it stick to the wrist i'm going to create an empty object onto the left elbow which is going to be here i'm going to name it um watch anchor now i go to the real watch again i add a parent constraint i add a source i drag the watch anchor onto the source I click active and zero it out and click active again. There we go. Now the watch sticks to the object. So we're gonna position the object here onto the rest. We're gonna rotate it here. Just approximately so it serves the uh, purpose of the example. And if you need to scale the watch, you scale the actual watch. Now that it's scaled, I need to just move it up a bit higher. Still too large. Okay, that, that's fine. For the purpose of the example, it's fine. Just gonna use it like this. So now that I've positioned the watch, I need to add functionality. So for that we need an FX layer and parameters. The FX layer you can merge using, for example, VR Labs Avatar 3.0 Manager, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna literally just drag it here and I'm gonna drag, click Add Animator to Merge. And I'm gonna mer drag any of these here and then click Merge as New. Now I've, now I've done it already, so I'm not gonna do it again. But the difference between these is that it's five different um, seconds hence speeds animations. And by speed, mean I mean the amount of ticks per second, because we don't necessarily have to have the seconds hand move every second. We can make it move uh, much more often. For example, four times in a second, and that makes it looks looked much smoother. So for the example, I use the smoothest which is the second smoothest. I have smoothest this, of course. And you're gonna see how it moves just in a short while. And after I have the FX layers, I need to add parameters. And I think I cannot copy parameters using Avatar 3.0 Manager. So I'm just gonna add, add them by hand and you can find them in VRChat Files folder. And it's just one float and one boolean. Uh, real watch time and real watch initialized. So I'm just gonna add these onto my avatar here. This one was a boolean, and this one is float. And that's it. Everything's ready. Now I can actually put uh, a 3.0 Leo my emulator into the scene, and I can play test. I'm gonna make my avatar go a bit down so we can see the watch. And now you see the watch is moving. And to test this really well, you can um, look for the float, the RV time in here, which is down here. And you can just drag it and you see it's moving. And to test if it, the animation is correct, you can just put in 0 0.5 and it should be zero zero time like midnight this is like the middle of the 24 hour cycle and it works pretty well so this is going to be synchronized automatically in game so basically when you uh, have your avatar on you just turn on the osc app and it should work you can find more information in the provided manual how to set up the osc